Good, my people. Welcome back to the channel, Cruising Through Live. This sun is really bright right now. Oh my gosh! But anyway, people, I got some bangers for y'all for the cruise. You know what I'm saying? The baby, the OG, the number one, the Uno. But yeah, I got some content for y'all with this car for a while. Um, just cause I've been slacking a little bit. I'm gonna post more stuff about the cruise stuff like that. So we're gonna get down to it. We got this video right here. It's gonna be about if it's worth getting um a core air intake or intake in general versus some um, just keeping stock one because it's like a price difference performance difference stuff like that is actually worth it like it's enough bang for your buck because right here in 2022 we're trying to be cheap with this kind of stuff you know i don't say cheap but cost efficient there you go cost efficient so yeah let's get down to it uh i'm gonna go over to the car right now and show you what kind of intake i have for the car and that's it all right so in order dust on the car um, been driving for a while. I mean, pretty dusty. I need to wash the car. So I want to wash the cruise. You know, hit me up. I would love to do it. You know, especially when I get car fully detailed. I need my brother to ceramic coat it just like he did the Camaro, but we haven't got time. We haven't gotten to that yet. But yeah, so I have the K and N um air in intake. It's the Typhoon version. Let's zoom in. See right there. And I had this intake for at least about five years now actually five or six years um probably got like a couple years after i got the cruise and stuff like that i spent around 337 dollars for the for the intake and with this intake um it's supposed to be received like um gains as need like horsepower it's supposed to be like 6.4 6.5 horsepower some people say you get 13 horsepower it all depends or um but who tuning it if it's tuned or not as such my car is tuned by bad news racing shout out to them i own their 93 performance tune so in case anyone who want that smoke you know what four cylinder or anything like that you can race this we, we can race this cruise man it ain't, it ain't slow like you can catch this smoke right here i ain't about to cap you can catch this smoke but anyway let's get back to the yeah, video so i had the stock inner box um i'm gonna pause the video and put insert how the cruise actually was stock air box And that look versus this one. So the biggest question is, uh, is it worth spending over $330 or how much of every money you're going to spend on your air intake versus um, keeping it versus stock box? Your stock air intake box is a manufacturer from, the, from a, your company, also, for instance, well, it's GM or BMW or anywhere. Um, it was designed to be very efficient for the vehicle. Also, was cost very cost efficient also. Uh, just because they want to spend a lot of money on these different things that's why you see a lot of people upgrade parts right after they get the car and so let so to make the car perform better and breathe better um yes um, a lot of manufacturers will provide a lot of great parts on the vehicle but what they're not going to do is spend a lot of money on development especially since um when you're making these vehicles you mass manufacturing them so you have to be very cost efficient about it and make sure you save the company money but also you can make money on the back end also so with this um so with the aftermarket intake, it will allow you more air could be actually breathing inside the engine. Uh, for this one, uh, compared to the stock air box, it's about 30 or 40 CFN, a CFM more. Um, basically like a larger, larger air could actually flow in more. Airflow could be actually flowing into it. Uh, this is basically as in like you don't understand what CFM means. Basically like let's say you breathe in, like you take that gust of air or you, that breath of air. They also you do. So it's a difference that you can see. So you be breathing in more air, which is as you, especially with the turbo engines, more air you can breathe in, the more fuel can add, which it leads to more boost, or well, leave more power and stuff like that. More air also you can more boost well as well, since we car is gonna run off PSI. And I do like do it am I have a lot of PSI running through this, this engine currently. So basically it's larger um larger CFM. Uh, it does cost three hundred thirty dollars more, and you gain between seven to thirteen more horsepower, or even more, depends on how dressed the tune is. Uh, so for me, if you're actually um, could afford it, I would. Um, especially like you be able to hear turbo noises and stuff like that. It is worth the difference. Um, but also, I understand people trying to justify, like, oh, it doesn't do much. But this is based on the aspect of you can also get better gas miles with it too, because uh, the car won't be running more better. Uh, and not storing stuff for air, uh, a lot more airflow and stuff like that. I have received a, a 
if fuel economy I'm, I'm boosting it, it'd be around like two or three horsepower. Oh, not to like, geez, not two or three horsepower, but like two or three um, MPG. It already comes with about, well, with my crew, it's around like 30 something. But yeah, the crew's gonna run over 30 some miles per gallon. It all depends on how the person drives it. But with me, uh, I have have seen an increase with it on um, why running this air intake. And also um, with this air intake, it does allow you to hear more turbo noises as such. And I'm gonna try and do that. I uh, have a video clip of the actual air intake. <laughs> What you think your opinion on it if it's actually worth it or not but at the end of the day it's definitely worth getting whether you have a boost application or not get a cold air intake for your car or intake in general for your car and watch it wake up and perform way better until next time keep cruise through life key little your best life deuces